Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how a torque wrench works on the inside. So this is the part that you've probably seen before that has the torque ratings on it, and it goes over here. So with this removed, you can see what's inside now. The main point here is this uh, screw here that's going to put more tension on the spring, and then you have the spacer and then the little pivot block. So if you look at this pivot block, this is magnetic, it actually comes out and it sits down in this channel. And the whole point is for this to pivot. So this is on the head of the ratchet, it fits in just like that. And so basically the idea is as you're pushing down on this, you're gonna get to its breaking point where it pivots. And when it pivots, that's kind of when you hear that click. And so what you're trying to do is increase the spring tension to get this to pivot later. So at a low torque rating, without much tension on the spring, this will happen pretty early on. Then as you turn the handle, you're really cranking this spring down so that there's more pressure on this. So then if you have more pressure being pushed against it, as you're pushing down with the torque wrench like this, eventually it'll take more pressure to do it, but it'll also kind of crack. And so that twisting motion in there is kind of what you're actually hearing on this. When you finally get to that rating, you hear it kind of click against itself. So that's, that's the click that you're hearing. So it's really happening with this piece here as it pivots. But that's basically how a torque wrench works. It's pretty simple. You're just basically trying to put enough pressure on this until it finally pivots or you know, kind of snaps.